Welcome back to yaymath.org's presentation of Teach on the Beach. I'm with my new friend Margarita from Florida. Yeah, how long yeah. are you in town? Um, until the 27th, so until Sunday. Sunday, how Sunday long night. you been? How long you been here? Uh, I got here yesterday. Wow, yeah. short, trip. short trip. And, and, and uh, you're doing math all of a sudden. Uh, okay. And you planned on doing it this morning. Yeah, so, <laughs> somehow. No, you didn't. <laughs> no. You didn't plan on doing math. <laughs> but you now are, and I'm really happy that you are, right? Yeah. Do you have general feelings about math? No, I hate math. Hate math. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why? Um, I don't know, I guess it hasn't really been like my interest, I guess. Hasn't been your interest. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. more of a science, like that field. Alright, totally yeah. cool. Totally cool. They're somewhat related, so you know what? Maybe after a couple minutes together, it'll be a little different, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. You deserve to love math too. <laughs> so does everyone. Definitely. Right on. Alright, rock and roll. So this is basically the idea. I'm gonna hit you with the decimal 0.7, right? You could think of that as 0 0.70 or yeah. 70 cents, mm -hmm. right? And the only goal here is to turn it into a fraction. Yeah. Do you know how to do that? Yes, uh, isn't it seven over 10? It so is seven over 10. Yeah. It's totally awesome. seven over 10. That's right, seven over 10. All right, do you know what these are called? It starts with a T. A T? Yeah. It starts with a T and rhymes with nths. Tenths? Tenths! Hey. Homie knows. Homie knows. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it rhymes with the nths, baby. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this would be called seven what? Say it. Seven tenths. Seven tenths. Yeah. Seven tenths of a whole. You know, you can even picture it. Tenths. Yeah, like this. Chocolate bar. Here we are. Here we are. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we got this. How many of these are shaded? Seven. Seven, that's right, that's right. You got it, seven tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it, seven tenths. Yeah. There you go, we're on our way. Okay, let's do another one, ready? Mm -hmm. Rocking it. Point fourteen. You could think of it as 14 cents. Point one four. We could also open it up to others, but Margarita, you're into it too. Yeah. Let's see, since you have the courage to come up here to the board, what say you? What fraction is this? I didn't phrase the question. What's the fraction, please? Isn't it 14 over 10? 14, 14 over 10 is so 14. close. So, so close. Over 100, it's so over 100. It's so over 100. Because the decimal place, so she's yes. coming to life. Yes. Like with the Rocky music. We're coming back. Coming back. I'm coming back. <laughs> Rocky 8. <laughs> Creed 4. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't like it before. Yeah, it fits. Yeah, no, you know, definitely, you yeah. like you love math again. Well, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, you can't we'll force love. There, yeah. Awesome. So here we go. 14 over 100. What is this fraction called? It starts with an H. Hundreds. Hundreds is correct. Well done. Yeah. Good job. Good job. But the issue is, this is not simplified. She's doing great. This is great. This is not simplified. So what we need to do is divide both by numbers. By what? Two. Homie knows. Let's divide by two. 14 divided by two is seven. seven. 100 divided by two oh. is 10. Oh. I'm just kidding, how, two. How many twos, huh? how many twos go into 100? What? How many Ten. twos go into 100? I can't think my math right now. It's all good, it's all good. Is it one time? Yes, 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100, that's yes. true, that's true. Yes. Let me ask you this. To say divided by two, do you agree that's our goal? Yes. It's divided by two, awesome. Yeah. To say divided by two would basically mean split 100 50. into two. Yeah, Yeah. right, 50. right, right. Do you see how like, <laughs> see how you got it right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five seconds ago you didn't? Yeah. You just ask the question a different way. Well, definitely, yeah, so, like, you so that's, yeah, Margarita knows. So yeah, if you split 100, it's the same as divided by one number. If you split 100, it's the same as divided by what? By, by two. By two. By two. That's right. To split yeah. is to divide by two. Can you say that back? To split is divide by two. To split is divided by two. Boss. Boss. Can seven over 50 simplify any further or are we done with this guy? We're done with it. Totally. Well done. Well done. Rocking and rolling. So point for repeating. Hey guys, welcome. We're doing math on the street just for fun, just to share the love. Yeah, that smile is exactly how I feel, like all here. She's from Florida, she just came up to the board like with the courage, right? 
and now the courage is going to be put to the test, friends. Okay. This is point four, repeating over, over, yeah. over as Shoshana Paul gets you yeah. going. Shoshana Paul. So that means this. Yep. Now that's bananas. Look at that, like going on and on and on and on. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. We want to turn this into a fraction. Yeah. yeah. We want to turn it into a fraction. So there is a way to turn this into a fraction. I'm going to show you a cool way. Okay. Yeah. So N, the number we want equals 0.4 over. You know what? I got a better idea. I'm going to move it down. It'll pay off. I'll show you a cool way to do this. 0 0.444 over and over and over and over. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, remember the whole thing about divided by 10? Remember? You knew about dividing by 10. So what if I asked you this time to multiply by 10? All right? What would N times 10 be? That's so close. That would be n times itself 10 times. Uh -huh. It's actually just this. Just 10n. 10n, yeah. right. Is that like multiply? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock and roll, rock and roll. And maybe we could call it out as well to help out our brave friend here. If you multiply this by 10, it would be 10n. What if we multiply this by 10? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with moving this. Moving the yeah. How many times do we move it, friends? If you multiply by 10, I heard it, I heard it. One time. one time, one time, yeah. One time for the one time. One time for the one time. So if we move it one time, we make it bigger. Yeah. All right. So if you move this over once, it's now going to be 4.4 repeating, repeating, repeating. Okay. So I'm going to do that above. So if we move that over once, that's four here. Point four, repeating, 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 repeating. All right. So basically, we're allowed to do whatever we want as long as we do it to both sides. Don't we have to add the end though? Oh, add the end to what? To this? Oh, or to this? To the other one. Oh, you know, we're not actually not going to add them. No. We're going to subtract to prove a point. Oh, okay. okay. So what if I had 10, 10 nuggets? Mm -hmm. 10 nuggets minus one nugget. What do I have? Nine nuggets. Nine nugs. I just use nuggets because it starts with N. Yeah. Right on. 10 nuggets minus one nugget is nine nuggets. And what is four point? Four, 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 repeating. Minus four, 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 repeating. What's left? Four, homie four. knows. Got it, yeah, it's just four. Because basically these all go. Minus, 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 they do, they cancel. And remember the thing that was annoying us, the point four, 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 four repeating? Go! It's gone. Yeah, four. Does anyone know how to get n by itself in one step? You put it over 9n. She, she knows. She knows. I know. She knows. She what? knows. <laughs> yeah, give her a hand, everyone. That was awesome. Woo! Yeah, Margaret, you rock this, man. This is great. How do you feel about what you did? I like it. I'm so glad you like yeah. it. That's good. That means everything to me. That's why I'm yeah. here, you know. That's why I'm standing here. It's yeah. for people like you. Yeah, so now you divide it by 2. Actually, you can divide 4 by 2, but yeah. can you divide 9 by 2? Wow. So we leave it. All right, but I'm glad you're looking. Yeah, most definitely. Like, you got to look. And now I'm going to give you the big... Oh! All right. Rock and roll. Got to be wiggly in a wiggly world. There it is. That's the fraction, which is bananas. Final it's answer. Final answer. So the fraction version of... Point four, 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 repeating. Welcome, everyone. We're learning math together. That's what we're doing. If you love math, say yay math. Yay math. Oh, why did like five tenths? <laughs> no one's saying it. One more time. Yay math, please. Yay math. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it. Margarita's here. She's got a, she's a brave soul. She came up, right? I'll yeah. pay you later. I'll pay you later. Yeah, I don't know her. I don't know her. I've never saw her in my life. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so the decimal version or the fraction version is four over nine. nine. I'm going to give you a trick. Check it out. How many numbers are being repeated? Is it like one digit again and again and again, or two digits again and again? Which one was, is it? It's one, it's one, right? Four, 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 four. Here's a little trick, a little mastery trick. Whatever number is being repeated, however many times it's being repeated, you put over nine, done. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, watch this, watch this. 0.29. Two nine, 
two, nine, two, nine, on and on and on. How many digits being repeated, Fred? Two. two. Wow, they know things. That's so good. So, got this. Yeah, take me up. Yeah, we got this. Okay, good. Ready for first aid. So, two digits being repeated. So, that's the same number of nines. Mm -hmm. Same number of nines. So, two nine over how many nines? How many nines? Two. It is. Two. Yeah, it will, it'll work out every time. Mm -hmm. Every time. Balling. All right, cool. The last thing we're going to do is actually kind of just fun, like a number thing, and we're done. All right? Yeah. The thing we're going to do today is just an introduction to perfect squares. Okay. The idea of a perfect square is that all the sides are what? Perfect. Come here, you're back in school, but on the beach. Hello. Teach on the beach. So all the sides are the same, right? Yes. All right. So all the sides would be the same. So you could have a square that's one by one. Okay. So what's one times one, friends? One. one. The next perfect square would be two times two. Okay. What is that, friends? Four. I know you're thinking. That's good. That's good. You're, that's all I want you to do. A, a few minutes ago, we all screamed out, I failed just for fun. So, so it removes, it removes stress. The stress. Yeah. It removes like the, like the bad feeling. Yeah. So two times two is four. The next perfect square is three by three. Three times three makes nine. 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 So it's on it. Nine. On it. Yeah. Nine. Four, four. Sixteen. Sixteen. Now, I'm not going to say four times four. You're going to say the next thing. So what is the next perfect square? Five times five. Is 25. 25. 25. You got this. So there are the one, two, three, four, five. Next. 26. Mix. 36. 36. Next. 7, 7, 7. Mix. 49. Hit. Next. 8 times 8. 8 times 8. Mix. 64. Perfect squares. 64. You don't want to live your life in a square but you want to know when they're perfect, yeah. right? Going deep today. We're going deep today. Okay, that's a perfect square. Next perfect square. Nine times nine. Nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. There's a political place. <laughs> Herman Cain. Yeah, what is it? 81. 81, good. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Do you love math? Yeah, yeah, said with conviction. She can be in the next show. That's right, she can. Next one, 100. Next. A few more. Yeah, good. Good job, man. Good thinking. I'm glad. I'm glad. Anyone know the ones? 121, boss. We got 12s? 144. Yeah. It was interesting. You know how like you remember different things from school, like little things that you don't even know why you remember? In fourth grade, I re learned that this has a name, a dozen dozens. And it's a funny word. It's called one gross. I guess the word stood out. And let's, one gross, a dozen dozens. It's one, okay, hit me with the 13s, then we're done. 169, well done. Oh, 196, oh, do we got more? We're go they're going for it, they're going for it. Like, I, it's like, I feel like I'm at, like watching a trailer, like, what's gonna happen? Oh, the 221 mark, oh, he has his phone out. <laughs> Hey, it's a technology world. It's a technology world. So you're welcome to use the tech. You guys, give yourselves a hand. Give Margarita a hand, please. You got take a bow, take a bow. <laughs> Thank you, it was nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you, that was so uh, great. You're awesome. You crushed it. Hey, look, was it so bad? It wasn't. Can I get my candy? Oh, for sure, yeah. Teach on the beach. Yeah, right? <laughs> Whoop!